your hearing aids right now use coin cell batteries. Imagine that uh, being able to print these types of materials directly into a hearing aid. You heard that right. Printing batteries. 3D printing, to be exact. Yes, the same technology currently used to create prototypes and art projects could soon be used to manufacture small batteries. The way that we do this is design functional inks. These are inks that uh, go beyond plastic, that embed things like conductive networks or batteries um, into the materials that we're developing. The inks Lewis and her team developed function as electrochemically active materials and can be used to create working anodes and cathodes, which are the basic negative and positive components of any battery. While traditional micro batteries used in devices like hearing aids and small robots tend to be as big as the devices they're meant to power, this method allows them to be almost microscopic. When we 3D print, we actually print the anode and the cathode out of lithium oxide based materials. And we're focused right now on printing very small batteries, batteries that have dimensions on the order of the size of a grain of sand. In other words, a millimeter by a millimeter by a millimeter or a millimeter cubed. And here's one example of one of the batteries that we're actually printing. It's packaged in a plastic case, and inside is the anode and cathode that we've printed. The printer is capable of creating batteries up to a meter wide. And while there are plans to commercialize the batteries, don't expect your phone to have a 3D printed battery in it just yet. So we're interested in developing these kinds of batteries for micro scale applications, for autonomous sensors, for things like flying robots with the RoboB project here at Harvard, also for things like integrating electronics into devices that are used for biomedical applications. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, Cambridge, Massachusetts.